Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. I get a lot of questions about how to properly size your masks or helmets for your head. Um, and there's some very simple ways of doing that. So of course you can get really complicated, 3D scans and all this sort of thing, but there's a really simple method of just measuring your head um, and then either using those measurements uh, for digital purposes like making a 3D model or scaling uh, 3D you know, printable models or parts to be able to fit your head or if you're even fabricating a mask or a helmet that needs to fit sometimes you're going to need those dimensions to be able to work out those that math right so um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create some simple cosplay calipers uh, and then some steps on how to best measure your head so let's get right to it so here are some of the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need cosplay calipers of some kind. You're going to need a ruler and you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil to be able to take down your measurement notes. So in regards to cosplay calipers, you can buy calipers from a hardware store. You can 3D print them. I'm going to have a downloadable model in the show notes that you can download them if you can 3D print them. But they're basically just two prongs with a hinge point in the middle. You can even trace a shape out onto a piece of cardboard and just cut them out and then use a push pin or a paper clip or something to act as the hinge point. Just make sure you don't uh, poke yourself in the finger or hand when you're doing that. You're going to need a ruler and that can be in inches or centimeters depending on um, the software you might be using later. And then a piece of paper and a pencil to take some notes. Okay, so the first dimension that we're going to take is the width of the head. So usually what I do is open up the cosplay calipers and measure um, sort of just in front of the ears and the widest part of the cheeks. So you might need to move the calipers around on your face to get that measurement, all right? Um, everyone's going to have a different dimension, so maybe the lower part of your cheeks is wider than the upper part of your cheeks. You're just going to have to move it around to find the, the largest width. Um, you may also find that the width of your head just above your ears may actually be slightly wider than your cheekbones. So you can see in my particular case, I kind of have a narrower face where my cheekbones are, but the top of my, or the width of my head is slightly larger. So again, depending on the mask or helmet you need to make, you might need to change those dimensions. Um, another thing you might want to consider is the width. If you're doing a full coverage helmet, not just a mask that covers the front of your face where the ears might be exposed, but maybe it's like a, a Mandalorian helmet or something like that, you might need to w measure the full width of your ears. So make sure you go ear to ear and take that measurement down. So in my particular pit case, it was six inches. And now we're going to do the top of the head. It might be easier if you stand in front of a mirror and kind of look sideways. You want to make sure you get a good measurement from the top of your head to the bottom of your chin. Now be really careful to not kind of um, uh, stick the bottom of the caliper like into the soft part of your chin. You want to make sure it gets to kind of the bony end of the chin and the very top of your head. Also try not to move the ca uh, calipers too far back or too far forward because that might change the dimension of your head. So um, again, keep checking in the mirror in a profile view before you take your measurement down. In my particular case, I was able to get a good measurement and it was about nine and a half inches tall. The last measurement we're going to do is the depth of your head from your nose to the back of your head. Make sure you're kind of um, taking into account your hair, right? You know, that you know um, it's not bunching up and causing a, a different dimension. Um, also make sure that the calipers are not too high and not too low because that can also change the dimension. And try to keep your head as level as you can because if you notice, if you tip your nose down, um, it actually creates a smaller dimension because of kind of like the, the back of your head, the nape of your head goes you know, in towards the base of your neck. So um, just be really careful with that dimension. Um, and in my particular case, it was eight and three quarter inches. So now hopefully you've got a good idea of what the height, width, and depth of your head is for your mask uh, printing or helmet creation. All right, good luck. Thanks for tuning in.